Hello everyone, this is Jeremy Lalonde. He's the writer-director of Sex After Kids. An interesting film because you actually had your cast in place first and you wrote the characters and the script based on who you had for the cast. Yeah, it was a situation where I was kind of frustrated because it had been a while since I'd done my last film and I was just really wanting to get something going. And so I knew I'd have to do something small and I just made a list of people I really wanted to work with and approached them first with kind of a step outline of, of what the stories I wanted to tell in the film. And then everyone, pretty much everyone said yes and signed on. And so once I knew who I had to work with, I was able to see how they'd fit into the stories I'd worked out. And then I wrote knowing who I was going to have in the cast already. Great. And you've got an amazing cast of yeah. some great Canadian names, Kristen Booth and, and Chris Holden Reed, and the list goes on and on, and some that we will announce shortly. Some really cool people. Uh, your previous work, the untitled work of Paul Shepard, is that it? Paul Shepard. Paul Shepard, excuse me, uh, also starred Chris Holden Reed. That's right. So what's it like working with him again? Chris is phenomenal. He's just a really, really, really lovely human being, and he's hilarious. It's funny. I mean, I don't think he's given the credit as a, as a comic actor that, that he deserves. And it's funny, when we first approached him for Paul Shepard, it was, it was similar because a lot of his work he's done is more dramatic. Mm -hmm. uh, and so our casting directors were like, no, you really need to meet with him because he's, he's hilarious. And they were right. And he's, just, and he's just great on set, and he's so much fun to be around. Well, we're looking forward to talking to him soon. Uh, First Weekend Club actually promoted your last film. So what was working with us like, and, and what do you feel about the future of Canadian films in general? It's so important to have any kind of exposure you can get for Canadian films, because we, we often get pushed off to the side. Mm -hmm. um, and theatrical for Canadian films is, is a rarity. And so even having that just, for some reason, it, it somehow makes people feel like you're more legit. Um, and so getting that promotion out and getting that first weekend is so important, because you don't get the second weekend. And, and, and it just goes on and on and on. And what's the plan for this? When can we expect for it to hit theaters or festivals? We're planning to get this ready so that if we can get into Sundance, it'll be ready for Sundance in January. And then, and then onward and upward, we'll do a festival year all the way around and hit the Canadian circuit at the end. Great. And then hopefully we'll be, we'll be in, in, in theaters uh, a year from now, next fall sometime probably, Great. after we've done the festival circuit, yeah. Well, we're looking forward to it, and good luck with the rest of your shoot. Oh, thanks so much.